Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is my tutorial on how to learn GarageBand in just 10 minutes. Press on the GarageBand icon. Then tap on Create New Tracks Song. Scroll across the screen. And tap on the Acoustic Drum icon. Tap the play icon to play the beat. Tap on the stop icon to stop the beat. Tap the reset icon to reset to the beginning. Tap on the drummer image and tap on a drummer to change the drum pattern. Tap on Electronic for more choices. Tap on the Settings icon and tap on Tempo. Then tap three times to change the tempo. Or tap on the arrows to change the current tempo. Then tap on the settings icon. Tap on the track mixer icon to see your tracks. Tap on the plus icon to add a track. Scroll across the screen. And tap on the alchemy synth icon to add a virtual instrument track. Play the keys to hear the virtual instrument sound. Tap on the virtual instrument name. Tap on a category. Then tap on a sound name to change the virtual instrument sound. Then tap on Done. Tap on the play icon to hear the drum beat while playing the virtual instrument. The ruler is split into eight sections, numbered one to eight. Each section is called a beat. The eight beats are looped. To record the virtual instrument, tap on the red record icon Wait for the four beat counting, then play along with the drum beat. Tap on the play icon to hear the recording. If you don't like the recording, you can tap on the undo icon to delete it. Tap on the mixer icon and drag the dot on the track volume line to change the virtual instrument volume. Drag the dot on the track pan line to change the pan. Tap on the mute icon to turn the virtual instrument sound on or off. Tap on the solo icon to turn on or off whether you can hear only the virtual instrument. Move the dot on the echo line to add echo. Move the dot on the reverb line 
to add reverb. Then tap on the mixer icon again. Now tap on the track mixer icon. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll across the screen. And tap on the voice icon to record your voice. The inline shows how loud you will record your voice. Drag the dot to change how loud you will record your voice. One, two. One, two. You should use headphones when recording your voice so you don't record the sound of the other tracks too. Tap on the red record icon to record your voice and then tap on the stop icon to stop recording. Hello. 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 The outline shows how loud your recorded vocals are. Drag the dot to change how loud your recorded vocals are. Hello. Press on the vocal hall knob and drag up or down the screen to change the amount of reverb. Hello. 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 Press on the pitch control knob and drag up or down the screen to pitch tune your vocals. Tap on fun, then tap on an image to try out vocal effects. Tap on studio to turn off vocal effects. Now tap on the track mixer icon. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll across the screen and tap on the clean icon to record a guitar. Tap on clean combo. Tap on a category. Then tap on an amp sound to change the amp sound. Tap on the red record icon to record your guitar and tap on the stop icon to stop recording. So far, we just have one eight beat song loop. So tap on the plus icon on the ruler. Tap on duplicate to add another eight beats with the same recording. Or tap on add to add a new eight beat section. To work on an eight beat section, double tap on the section letter. Or to work on the whole song, double tap on all sections. To edit MIDI recordings, double tap on the MIDI recording. Then tap on Edit. Then drag the pencil icon to the right. Tap on the grid to add a note. Drag the end of the note to change the length of the note. Drag the middle of the note to move the note. Tap on a note to delete the note. Tap on Done to close the MIDI edit screen. GarageBand by default auto saves your project. To change project, tap on the project's icon. Then tap on a project image. To change a project's name, press on the project image. Tap on Rename, type in a name, then tap on the Return key. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that 
subscribe button. Cheers.